Perfect. Welcome back, everybody. Good evening. We just captured war. Uh -huh. Hola! We and Broadshow is doing conspiracy theory phone checklists right now. Yeah, dude. Any other cool conspiracies? Um, we could talk about a local one. What's the local one? What's the local, local one? We could discuss uh, the Argusville Haunted School. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Bag lady. Bag lady. Bag lady. Okay. Well, oh, let's uh, lady. let's go down the line and have our experiences with uh, Argusville. Well, remember the start. Well, let's start when we went all as a group, like when um, the first time. The first time we all went. went there? Yeah, when we got that big. Oh, we yeah. went all like I don't know how many people went, but it was like maybe like was, eight. Yeah, there was a lot of us. Yeah. It's like you, me, Steve over there, Steve Maloney. Yep. Uh, were Lori and Britta there too? No, there was no women hanging out with us at that point in their lives. Are you kidding me? I don't think so. I don't think they were. It was like I know they went we, there one time. But we brought we brought a camera with us, mm -hmm. a night vision camera. And we went through pretty much all the uh, the areas, and we went to like the furnace or like the boiler, boiler room, the boiler room area with like the lockers where the lockers would be. And I remember we did uh, we we asked it a question in that room, or asked a question to something to see if we get a response. And when we played it back, we heard the big grunt. I remember there was a grunt at one point, like a mm -hmm. kind of like deep guttural. Ugh. And then we heard like a uh, another breathing when we went to the classrooms on the second floor. Yeah, that was interesting. I enjoyed those times because it was just fun to hang out with everybody and just get kind of spooked. I think right. my favorite experience there was there was a, uh, I think there was five of us and we all stuck together, but we brought two cameras and we left one set up in the gymnasium with the yeah. night vision on, and. The battery was fine, we made sure about that and everything. We walked around for about 45 minutes and left it recording. And we heard a humongous bang coming from the other opposite side of the school. And when we went back to check our footage on the camera in the gymnasium, somebody had stopped the recording on it. Nobody else was in there. So when we replayed the footage, all you could see was this bright white light come in on the left side of the screen and then the camera just stopped. It was fucking weird. Mm. Weird. There was a time, I think it was you and me, Steve, and Mason was with us, and maybe Will, when we were in the uh, one of the second story classrooms, and we got close to the fire escape door, and then that thing just started growling at us. And it sounded like nothing I've never heard before. Yeah, that was weird. I never heard again, that Again, I haven't heard a lot of things, so it could have just <laughs> been like a badger or yeah, something. Yeah, could have been anything. With the atmosphere and how dark it was and how spooky it was, it made me scared as all hell. Tyler, there was the time that you and I were there oh, no. with one other person. I think it must have been Will or something. And we were trying to take that fire alarm thing off, trying to remove something for the first time from that place, and something broke upstairs while we were in the middle of it. That was fucking weird. That's dude. right. There was a humongous slam, and we went and checked it out, and we couldn't find any evidence. That's of right. Oh, my God. I totally forgot about that. Nothing fell or anything. There was just a huge slam, as though somebody had slammed the door upstairs. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was only there twice. And we heard that slam more than once, too, because there was another time we had come back there and tried to take another thing from the place, and the slam went off once again. Jesus. There's a lot of weird stuff that's happened at that place. And yeah. when, after sure. after we went, we mind you, we didn't um, really understand like the backstory of it, but we did look it up after one outing with a bunch of people, and we found out that there was a woman that like drowned herself in the sewers there or something like that with yep. a bag on her head. Yep. And she is normally seen in like a white gown, like drenched in like water or just damp, I guess. And. Um, I don't she know if there's anything else. Too. It, what else was um, with her though? I think it was just the bag over her. I head think it the was white the gown. bag and the white gown, and she the was like gown. dripping wet. Yeah. And generally, didn't she show up in the gymnasium, and you'd see her walk around the corner, like you'd be in the stage. That was something. And yeah. You'd see her walk into the hallway from the gymnasium, and then hang it right and go towards where the sewer is. Yeah, that could be too. Yeah. And there was the time I got pushed off the ladder too, there and fell in the bucket. That, that was sucked. fucked up. I was in the locker room when that happened, yeah. and that just made it like ten times louder. I actually got pushed off a fucking ladder. Jeez. And that, that one ridiculous. time we found those other uh, ghost hunters there. Yeah, that was we so actually weird. like went to places in the school we've never been to before. Yep. We went into like 
that like maintenance tunnel and it wasn't even like it wasn't like oh shit I'm not the one underneath yeah the one yeah. that was not like by didn't have any linoleum or no not by the boiler room was the one that was like up. dirt ground are you talking about the one where you have to lift the grates yeah and the go metal, down yeah the big steel grate that's by one of the doors the exit door mm-hmm my, the, my only, like, creepy one was when we were filming that movie. No, <laughs> you had to go yeah. through. And I, yeah, and we got caught, and we left. Then we were on the second floor, and I realized I left my wallet. And then they, uh, I asked them if I could get back in there, and the only way I could was back through the second floor. And I went down through the boiler room, looking the whole time to where our dressing room was, or that we used for a dressing room couldn't find it came back and then my wallet was sitting perfectly in the center of the top step by the boiler room yeah yeah that kind of weirded me out too that must have been a challenge finding a room clean enough to use as a dressing room well there was a time that our other buddy eric went in there with one of his friends and mm-hmm. they went down to the boiler room and they didn't oh, have yeah. flashlights or anything and that there was the guy was in there, there. Yeah, there was a hobo in complete in there. darkness it was just you gotta leave now oh my they god they never saw him though. they know they couldn't find him they never saw him Ooh. Like, yeah there's, who are you? Because like, how do they know who are you? a hobo? Like, yeah, no, who are you? Who are you? Could have been anybody. You yeah. gotta get out of here. Oh my god, like, that's freaky. Yeah, right? There's some crazy shit that's happened to us in there over the years. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of glad that you can't really get inside anymore and There's it's not the, safe. So The documents about the school and who owns it, that's all like redacted and shit. Yep, yep that was weird. That is really, really weird. And we, there was one time we were trying to like make a little shitty documentary about it. Yeah, because that's when that our was directing bu- the documentary tried to call everybody, yep. and the guy that owned the place would just hang up on him every like I guess he only called once, but the guy just hung up on him instantly. I don't know if that's because he's annoyed about getting so many calls about it, right. or if there was actually something we should have known. I think they're finally knocking. Well, usually, that the truth down, is somewhere in the middle. Yeah, I think they're knocking that. I bitch desperately down need so this ammo. Finally. Cause it's got it got so fucked like with like mold and shit recently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's yeah. dangerous to even go in there. Oh shit! It's I... thick. When we went in there, I started a side blast. quest. I guess. Oh, that's right. <laughs> um, like a but year Bonnie's or two okay, ago. But okay, so that's good. Bonnie's it uh, Bonnie's it was fine. tough to breathe. In there. Yeah, so, I heard about that. That sucks. And the sure. stairway to go upstairs is all broken and shit. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they it's tear like it down finally, because I don't want to see that thing whenever I head well, north anymore. They're, they're preparing to. Like they have like. Uh, They've been preparing. That they have like years. I don't know if it's like students or like uh, fucking. I don't think it's students. I think it's like. Uh, it's kids that have like like. Uh, um, yeah, they go in there and like are cleaning it up and it's shit. Kids that are in community service. Yeah, and are organizing I mean, that shit to get it all cleaned kids. up. Yeah. Before they have to, before they knock it down and shit. Remember the time we got caught by the cops? Which and we, one? The yeah. one when we told them exactly what we were doing, and then they got all excited and like. Yeah, the that, one, that was the Steve. Wasn't, yeah. Oh, Steve. Steve no, wasn't there. Yeah, you guys told me all about yeah, it. it. That was, was the last like, one that I was you, talking me about. You Yeah. Or no, it was Feldy. me, you, and Feldy. Yeah. I was so jealous, dude. Yeah, All they got with the cops is they, they kicked uh, us out of there and Brancho's eating a burrito off Wilson's <laughs> stomach. Yeah, that was the yeah, the, that was the, that was the movie one that I was talking about when I had to go. The it was killer was clowns. Guts. Yeah, it was killer or, clowns. Yeah, and guts, he Microwave clown. burrito mixed with fake blood to look like guts and shit. Wow. And the cop like and where the, the how the classroom was situated, there was like the room and then there was like a wall with a doorway into like another like another smaller room. Which I think probably was like to hang coats or some shit like that. And then there was a fire escape right there. Mm-hmm. And the cops came in the fire escape, and me and Wilson were in that smaller room. So you couldn't see our, everybody else in the other room with the camera and shit. It was just me in fucking clown makeup with fake blood on me <laughs> and Wilson on the ground with fucking microwave burrito guts. <laughs> so when the door opened, I quickly was just like, We're making a movie. We're making a movie. Yeah, so, it would have shot you so much. Yeah, bad. exactly. You know. Be like, oh Jesus! Do you guys if remember... it was this year with the clown shit going on, oh, it would be my, god. oh my god! But yeah. that, but that second time, yeah, we had we had come out the opposite end of the school, and then we saw flashlights, and then we ducked around the corner and went around the block, and came back. And initially, they're just like, oh hey guys, is this your car? Like yeah, like all right. And then they didn't think anything about it, and then they were just like, wait, were you guys in the school? <laughs> 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 they were like, yeah. <laughs> we were just straight up with them, and just like yeah. 
we used to do it in high school. Mm-hmm. That's something that's kind of cool about cops. Usually, if you're straight yeah, up yeah. about something, they'll just be like, "Don't do it again." But they did. They got really excited. Mm-hmm. That's the, awesome. One dude got excited because they had to walk through there. Yep. You know what I mean? Make sure, to make sure there was sure, no one else there. Yeah, and make sure so you nothing guys was gave fucked them an up. Excuse to go inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that guy was all excited and shit. It yeah. was the rookie cop too, and he was he was stoked. Yeah, dude, I bet. That's the, awesome. The so he's like, yeah, I used to go here. Like just in the back. He's like, talking about how he, used, yeah, how he used to go to the school or whatever, and he'd heard the stories and shit. Mm-hmm. Do you guys remember going to the roof? Oh, yeah. I was never I never went there. on the roof. Really? We, to, we climbed yeah. You got to, like, see the small, attic. I didn't dude, trust any of those ladders or shelves, but I we suppose... We used shelves, yeah. Yeah. After watching you guys climb up, I probably could have, but... I still didn't trust the shelves. I didn't trust the roof. It just the roof. It was like yeah. soggy. It was soggy and it dipped down at one point. And you oh. could like slip and fall into like big Bonnie's dad's dead. Okay. Sorry, Bonnie's <laughs> dad. You didn't want to tie Fuck him off, up. Bonnie. Mm. I don't even know if you can actually. You might be able to. But should we head on over to Armadillo? Armadillo. Um, we'll s- How much time do we got left? I'd say this is an episode. We're at 11 minutes. Oh, we're about an episode. Okay, I'll go take a quick nap then. We'll take a nappy. Come to me. Come Let's to me go, me. war. We must That's ride. So I know, right? You got your own rapid ash. You like the, <laughs> the Wild West Ghost Rider right now? Yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking, uh, you fucking what's his name in the Nicolas Cage movie? In this fucking, version, um, you do. I think it's, or no. Fucking yeah, Elliot. Sam Elliot. Sam Elliot. Sam Elliot. You had the flaming smell. Horse. There it is. I get to sleep in a jail cell. Alrighty. Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed up. this. Please out. We're gonna save and then we'll uh, we'll join Marston in the undead nightmare later. Have a good exactly. night. Exactly. Good night, everybody. Oh shit! I'm locked in. Sweet dreams. You guys, if you know how to get me out of the jail cell, dial five five five. Help me now. We're stuck.